Well, good day, everyone. Um, may you have a blessed Sunday or whatever day that you're listening or watching this podcast. And welcome to Majesty's Sussex Report. This is Antonio. And um, such a pleasure to have you here. And um, imagine my surprise and delight to wake up and just check um the 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 channel and see such a wonderful comment from royal sussex you know baron himself i i i i i i couldn't i was like i i was like am i am i dreaming is this is this for real and and such a wonderful wonderful comment baron thank you so very much um I hope you know this, and if you don't, I, I, I will say it here. I I have the utmost respect and admiration for you, for what you do, and how you do it, how you conduct your, your, your channel, your podcast, your insights, your wit. I am absolutely um, in admiration and in awe of you and you are the you know golden post i guess uh, at least for me you are of uh, of of just integrity and 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 how to conduct um an effective informative at the same time entertaining and funny um podcast and always fresh and always with such insightful um commentary i i listen to you religiously and i am so 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 in awe of what you do and how you do it i i will say this again in, in, in case people have forgotten or don't know like when i was looking for community i was looking for people and a community that 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 people to talk to or something because i i was like this, this awful stuff they're saying about megan like i can be the only one who thinks that these people over in the uk are freaking crazy um and the first channel i found was royal sussex and i was like i felt i had arrived i was home and you know it it's it's an it's with listening to Baron for, you know, over a year that I I dare to even fathom the the the, the sort of thought of having my own channel and, and 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 contributing to 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 this community. So Baron, I you you you, you can't know how much this means to me. I know you've 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 commented before on the channel. Um but this absolutely means a lot for you to say, you know, this 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 is one of the best um, um, episodes that we've had. That I I am I'm really thankful and grateful. Thank you so very much. It's a wonderful um, gift to wake up to um, today. I'm in complete gratitude. Thank you very much. And um, I guess I should. Stop gushing and 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 carry on. I've been wanting to do, a, you know, get into the comment section and and talk a little bit about that for a little while now. But every time I I intend to do it, something comes up, and you know, I do the podcast on something else or a different topic. But I will do some of the comments today, and um, then of course I will do part two of the business, and hopefully you will like it as much as part one okay and i wanted to start out with um marcia williams marcia williams is one of our um members on the member side of the channel and we were having a little bit of a discussion or more so i, I would say i asked a couple of questions because i wanted this to to get the pulse right and i would say marcia pretty much summarizes what I think most um, of us think or most people think in in our um, space. 
And the first question sort of was like, what do you think about the, the, the two choices in regards to the Invictus Games for 20, 2027, um, DC and um, Birmingham, UK? And, um, you know, uh, Marcia said, well, UK is, is a no <laughs> for Invictus Games and an absolute yes for DC. Um, even the blind can see that to, um, to date, Narnia has treated this couple, meaning Harry and Meghan, especially Meghan, abominably. Um, the motives to host the, uh, the host is highly, highly, highly suspicious. And I agree with you, Marcia. I, I when I found out, um, I mean, when it was posted and all that kind of stuff that, that, that the UK was, was, um, going to, um, going to run, uh, for hosting, uh, the Invictus Games. I was like, why? You know, and the only thing that comes to my mind as to the why, it, it's it's like this 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 double thing. I think part of it is to get the sort of um, the, the 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 prestige that the Invictus Games has now continued to garner and has developed throughout the years, the respect that it has, and um, the work that it does. Listen, no, no offense to the um to the UK and to my British um um audience. Uh, you know this is not directed at the people, it's not directed at you. It's directed at the government. It's directed at you know the people in power. the The UK has been. A, on 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 such as a slide downwards, right? I mean, I I I was still in in this belief that they had to open heating centers during winter, like this is the United Kingdom, and people couldn't even heat their homes. So, and 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 the cost of living. The, the all of this, the the sort of strikes that that have happened the the way they've been treating the 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 NHS and 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 all the other you know um, public um, servant workers it's it's just been awful the teachers all of that and and I think in within government when everything is 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 in 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 a country. Is, is just going upside down haywire. You look for something shiny to sort of bring in to say, look, we're still cool or we're still okay. And I think perhaps the Invictus Games was, you know, part of that plan, I guess, that the Tories um, might have thought or have or whatever. Um, but I, I, I am, I am, I'm with you, Marsha. I, I think DC all the way, not, <laughs> and also because like, my cousin lives in DC and even though her and I had a little bit of a tiff the other day, well, not a tiff, it's just a, 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 a heavy discussion. Um, I love her very much and um, her and I are just very close. So if they have it in DC, I might just hop on a plane and head over there. And that would be really, really exciting. And I think also, you know, I think the U.S. will do an extraordinary job, especially um, Washington, D.C. So I'm all the way with you. The other question that I asked was um, about Megan not attending the um, church ceremony in the U.K. in, in um, London for the 10-year uh, um, anniversary of um, Victus, the Invictus game. And, um, you know, you very wisely, wi wisely said, um, why show up at a place that repeatedly declares they do not want her on the on their soil, whose leaders continually allow the press full smear campaign? The UK media uses any and every excuse to go crazy over any choice Megan makes. Back to square one, continual abuse. Marsha, 
you have got it. Absolutely. Like, I am so, listen, I, I, I've said this before. Whatever the successes do, what they do, whatever decisions they make, I will back them because they have more information and um, than, than I do to, to criticize any decisions that, that, that they make. Uh, so if, if, she, if she had decided to go, I would be like, okay, she's, she's, I'm going, that's awesome. Um, but I absolutely, a thousand percent support her not going. Like, they the the frenzy that we even saw last week and and sort of the week before of these people just just having like a schizophrenic um um episode of we hate her we don't want her here she she's ruined the royal family oh, of course andrew hasn't and all the other scandals haven't but but you know megan has um and and then why doesn't she come? Why doesn't she come and wave to us? Why doesn't she um, give us her opinion? We're entitled to her opinion. I'm like, you you people are crazy. Do you understand how crazy you look to the rest of the world? You're nuts. So with you, hundred percent. I'm happy she's not going, and I'm happy that 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 that. Look, listen. It this this is just a little bit personal, but I'll say it. It's sort of like, you know, this is how I am in relationships. Once it's done, I'm done. I, I, I am done. I, there, 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 there's no need for us to be friends. Maybe, I don't know, 10 years later or something, maybe. But once it's done, it is done, right? It's, it's, it's just, I've done my best. I give my best. It, 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 it wasn't enough. Um, for you or, or you know, you continue to, to, to do things that were abusive or whatever, and I'm done, right? Walking away, there's no need for me to come back and have tea with you or, or, or pretend I like you or anything like that, right? It's done. So go Megan. The only reason for her to go back there, I think Baron said that yesterday on his podcast, um, is if, you know, someone else kicks the bucket or, and has to go under, you know what I mean? So only, only, only reason for her to really be back there. And um, the last thing I was asking um, the members were how excited they were about the Nigeria trip. And Marsha, again, summarized it really beautifully. She said, um, the Niger Nigeria trip makes total sense for both Harry and Meghan. Um, especially with um, it being Megan's heritage and all. And it's it's just awesome. So, um, Marsha Williams, thank you so very much. And um, I will touch on a few more of the comments, but now let's get into part two of the business. At the heart of Archwell is the commitment to building a better world, one act of compassion at a time. Founded by Prince Harry and Meghan, the foundation aims to uplift and unite communities, both locally and globally, through initiatives that foster mental wellness, community resilience, and compassionate leadership. Unlike brands built on falsehoods, Archwell embodies transparency and authenticity, focusing on real-world impacts and sustainable change rather than merely projecting an image. American Riviera Orchard, a lifestyle brand in the making by Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, aspires to celebrate the natural bounty and artisanal craftsmanship of its region. Its much-discussed strawberry jam, which has already created a buzz before the brand official launch, represents more than just a product. It symbolizes a return to genuine, simple pleasures and a commitment to quality and transparency. This brand 
stands as a testament to the power of authenticity in a market often saturated with insincere narratives. In a world where diversity and authenticity are increasingly valued, both Archwell and American Riviera Orchard exemplifies how brands can strive by embracing these ideals. They reject the outdated practices of secrecy and exclusion, choosing instead to champion inclusivity and transparency. These brands do not merely add diversity as a marketing term, but embed it into the core of their operations, inviting diverse voices to shape their journey. The lesson here is clear. The future belongs to those who lead with integrity. Archwell and American Riviera Orchard are more than just brands. They are beacons of hope for a new era of business, an era where truth, honesty, and inclusivity are not only encouraged but required. As we stand at the crossroads of history, these ventures offer a path forward that promises not just success, but a legacy of positive impact and genuine engagement with the world. A modern and impactful approach to philanthropy, one that transcends traditional boundaries and inspires real, lasting change. This approach is exemplified by the Archwell Foundation, led by Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. The Archwell Foundation is not just about visibility, it's about action. It's about engaging with communities directly and addressing the complex challenges they face with innovative, sustainable solutions. It's about listening and responding with empathy and intelligence to the needs expressed by people around the globe. Take, for instance, the present issue of social media's impact on our children's mental health. Archwell has not only acknowledged this crisis, but has actively responded by creating a pioneering support network for parents. This network serves as a beacon of hope and healing, providing a platform where families affected by online harm can share their stories, seek comfort, and find strategies to prevent future suffering. This initiative brings the, 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 the silent struggles of many into the spotlight, promoting awareness and driving societal change. Moreover, through the Welcome Project, Archwell embraces women who have fled turmoil in Afghanistan, helping them integrate into American society and uh, um, with, with dignity and, 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 and strength by supporting programs that range from so, um, 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 sewing to, to storytelling. The foundation fosters not only a sense of belonging, but also practical skills and community uh, connections. These efforts are crucial in building a supportive environment that uplifts entire communities. In our digital age, the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund, initiated by Archwell, stands out as a beacon of hope by investing two million into young leaders who are reshaping the tech landscape. 
The foundation is at the forefront of creating a safer, more inclusive online world. These initiatives at addresses critical areas such as educational access, ethical AI use, and online safety, reflecting a commitment to not just today's needs, but tomorrow's challenges. The Foundation's Insight Report further underscores their dedication to understanding and improving the technological landscape, especially concerning our children's safety online. This kind of research is vital for informed policy making and effective community safeguarding. Archwell's commitment to women's empowerment is, is, is widely illustrated through their partnership with Harvest Home, where they have provided essential support to, um, to expected mothers facing severe hardship. This initiative is about more than just aid. It's about enabling women to rebuild their lives and in turn, strengthen their communities. Internationally, Archwell has made significant strides by supporting girls' education and health in, um, in Nigeria in coordination with the Gianco F Foundation providing school supplies and menstrual products is, is a direct investment in the future of these young women, empowering them to stay in school and pursue their dreams without barriers. The foundation's efforts extend to um, Uvalde in, in um, Texas, where, where they where they have helped build a playground as a symbol of hope and healing following a profound tragedy. This space designed by the children of Uvalde is more than a playground. It is a place of remembrance and of resilience. Our trail work in Enhancing ethical journalism is crucial in an era strife with misinformation. By supporting organizations like the 19th and the uh, Civic News Company, Archwell is investing in a future where informed, engaged, and critical thinking is the norm, not the exception. The Archwell Foundation, under the leadership of Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, is demonstrating what it means to lead with integrity, compassion, and innovation. Their efforts are not just creating temporary relief, but are building stronger, more resilient communities for generations to come. Let us take inspiration from their work and continue to, to um, strive for a world where compassion and action go hand in hand, making a profound impact on the lives, um, the lives that we touch. And if we use this as the example, as the template of how Harry and Meghan work and how they navigate the world and what they deem and see as important to contribute, we can only imagine how great American Riviera Orchard will be. We've just gotten the glimpse of it all.